I wave to the guards as I go through the first set of doors. Morning, Jeek. Morning, Frack. Morning, Ted. Great guys, those two. Jeek has a son, Deek, starting high school this year, and his wife, Fraser, just got a promotion at the marketing firm she works for. Frack just got his little girl, Halia, her first pet profit. Feely, his wife, will tell you who will swear up and down that he got the pet for his daughter, but she knows he wanted it too. I approach the security gate and scan the chip in my hand. The guard in the security booth looks away from his monitor. Ted, you're back here again? When are they going to learn? I just shrug my shoulders. Beats me, y'all. He starts to chuckle. Nah, I think they tried that last time. Huh, I see what you did there. Oh, tell Skara, thank you for the cookies. This last batch was fantastic. I think she's got that recipe nailed down. Oh, she'll be so happy to hear that. Will do. Onward to the final door. I push it open and walk into the all too familiar room. It's white and sterile with an operating table in the middle. I see a small rolling tray with a cloth covering it. That must be the method this time. Standing next to the tray is my buddy Frank. His real name starts with an F, I think. I don't have the proper vocal cords to pronounce it, so we just agreed on Frank. His wife makes the best Zendranian stroganoff. I once sold a single serving in the commissary for five candy bars, a brand new toothbrush, and two rolls of toilet paper. Not that tissue paper crap. The good stuff. Oh, right, where are my manners? My name is Ted Sanders. I'm a human, a Federation Marine, and I'm being held in a Carillion prison for something I didn't even do. The one just hates me because he can't break me and he refuses any help that's offered to him on how to do it, even from me. He got fed up and sentenced me to death. They've tried 13 times now. Everyone who has tried to carry out the sentence has tried explaining that it won't work, but the warden won't listen to a word of it. He insists that he's right and it'll work eventually. They just follow the warder's orders and carry on like normal. So, Frank, how am I to be executed today? Uh, he's having us try something different this time. That's not good. At least that's what I would think if the boss man wasn't such an idiot. I lie down on the table and Frank takes the cloth cover off the tray. We both gasp in horror as we try our hardest not to suppress our laughter. Not jalapeno peppers, anything but that. I pick up the peppers and eat them in one bite just to spite the old man. My nose starts to run and my eyes start to water. Meh, I've had hotter. See you next week, Frank. Take it easy, Ted.